Hi everyone, I'm Melanie and welcome back for my update or my wrap up I guess for the end of week four. So as if you if you had watched my midweek um, update you'll know that I struggled a little bit this week um, and I would say overall it wasn't as Good as I would have hoped but I did have some positives I did manage to clean my bathroom um, top to bottom decluttered all of that good stuff and I did manage to keep up on my water so that's really good I did eat out too many times this week and that impacted um, you know trying to stay on more of a whole 30 ish low carb um, kind of um, meal plan so not so great. Exercise also was hit and miss. So I probably did about half of what I had hoped to. So it's okay, it's better than doing nothing. But I am going to do some takeaways this week that I want to apply to next week because next week's gonna be very similar. So I'm working a strange work week for me. Normally I work from six to three, so 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. And now <laughs> for the past week and now this coming week, I'm actually working 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Ugh. <laughs> but it is what it is. So the takeaways for this week is I can't, have anything that needs to be prepped. So basically all my meals have to be ready to go. So I'm gonna work on that um, tomorrow, which is when you guys see this will be Saturday. Um, so I have to have everything prepped and I need snacks, healthy snacks. And I am going to try and um, do my walk first thing when I get up in the morning. So as soon as I get up, I'm just gonna do the walk get it out of the way and then I don't have to think about it. I'm also hoping to tackle another area in my apartment, which is gonna be my bedroom. I'm gonna show a clip here of the state that it's in and then I'll do an update midweek to let you know how far I've gotten. Of course, hopefully with the change in work schedule, I will still feel motivated to tackle that in the morning. So here's the clip for the bedroom. Okay, so it's really hard to get a good pan of my sleeping area, aka bedroom, which is actually the loft in my apartment. So you'll see, if you scroll down, that's the living room area. So I have a few issues. One is that all those uh, throw pillows and stuff always end up at the end of the bed on the floor. Problem there. This counter space becomes a dumping space for laundry that I don't want to put away, which is so stupid because it's literally like two feet in the other direction. Okay, so the rest of these are mostly scrapbooking albums. I do have the stereo system. I don't really use it that often and I should let it go. I should let it go. Maybe this will be the time. I have... A bookshelf up here that's pretty loaded. I went through this not that long ago and these are all kind of like collections so I don't know that I would be too quick to get rid of them but it's worth going through again. Obviously the bed needs to be made <laughs> and sheets washed and that kind of stuff and I, I seem to be have a drinking problem <laughs> so I'll we'll have to do that too. Of course everything needs a good dusting. So I have over here another bookshelf, and again, these are more like collections of authors that I like, that kind of thing, same as on the other shelf. So I don't know that there's going to be that much to get rid of, but I will look. I'm not in love with this piece anymore. It is great for hanging my purses, but if I can come up with something better, I would prefer that. Okay, let's go take a look in the closet. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this, because the bed might be in the way. So I don't think I have a ton of clothes. Literally, it's this closet, and I'll show you the other side in a minute, but this is all my hanging clothes. And I hang pretty much everything I possibly can. That works better for me than folded clothes, because as you can see, the folded clothes end up over there. I do have a safe down here. It's not necessarily a safe to prevent robbers, but more safe for fire. And then um, another quilt topper 
and I have a Christmas decoration behind there. That's probably going to stay here. Up at the top, I have these bins, and I know there is stuff in there that I have not accessed in forever. So I think I should be able to clear up some space in here that will allow me to change things elsewhere. Okay, let me show you the other side. Okay, so I have an empty container there. That is for my comforter. Um, I don't use it year round, so it's time to put it back in there after I wash it. This is really all my folded storage space that I have. And to be honest, I would love to get rid of this unit. I think I can fit everything down here. So that's a goal. And then up here, I've got more containers more extra scrapbooking containers. I've got some extra paint frames. See, the crafting stuff ends up everywhere. So I think there's a lot of potential here uh, to expand. I didn't mention under the bed, I have a container for gift wrap and I have the ex leaf extenders for my dining room table. We'll talk about that, I think, when I get to that. So this shouldn't take me that long. I do want to go through all my clothes and like I said, these containers up here. So I'll take you along and it's time to get this sorted out. As for meal planning for next week, like I said, I'm gonna try and have everything prepped. I have um, a roast that I got in my butcher box. So I'm gonna slow cook that probably Sunday. And then I'm going to make a chicken salad and I have it picked out already. So I'm gonna insert a clip here of the recipe that I'm going to follow. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to boil a bunch of eggs and have those ready to go. And I think that should do the trick. So that is the plan for this week. I'm feeling optimistic about it. Having learned some lessons this week, it's time to get that food prep done. <laughs> 